Today, uh, it's a very simple program, and what we do with body shops that we work with is empower your shop with the 100% OEM information and ensure that you guys are able to repair the vehicles quickly, efficiently, and have access to the most important information to help you get paid from the insurance company. So with this, you get access to the OEM information. We also have an online community where you have access to the most current information. It's a forum for you to ask questions or get questions, but more importantly, it ties into verified repairs built into the application. To open up the application, simply click on collision. And we house the most recent vehicles and we have a couple of ways for the user to experience our product. Very simple, put in the year, make, engine, model, or VIN, or you can click the drop downs. I find getting right to the point is a lot easier. So 18 edge, 3.5 liter. It gives me two choices, an all wheel drive or a front wheel drive. I could have put in that long lengthy VIN number, but I find it easier just to type in to select the vehicle. And as I click on it, it will open up all the OEM information and articles pertaining to this 2018 Ford Edge all-wheel drive with a 3.5 liter. We break out our software into three main components. The popular information, think of this as, as a quick access to all your diagnostic trouble codes, so all those P, B, C, and U codes, right? That your scan tool is telling you that's on the vehicles. You need to have that information. We have the exact OEM articles for you by all of those codes. All the service tables for to make it real simple for you to call up and I work with many shops that are not only collision, but they're mechanical. So think of it as a hybrid. So it's nice to have access to what the OEM recommends at each mileage interval. We also update continuously all the TSBs. And this is something that is fully searchable and sortable. And the most recent articles are always available for you at the top of the table. I simply use my browser button or I could use the breadcrumb trail to go back to the main vehicle. We have all the OEM and interactive colored wiring diagrams available for you. This is very important to have not only the exact OEM articles, but more importantly, the complexities involved with something as complex as the engine controls. If you notice, I just went to a couple of clicks and I brought up seven different pages of wiring diagrams. And I can click on any of these diagrams and loads it horizontally. What this does for you is it allows you to immediately see all of your wires. You can highlight the wire on the screen and click on it. And if you notice, it highlighted it across all the pages. I can also hide the wires in the background and it will ghost out the images, but they're still there. But this is the best feature is I am able to search for components. Anything related to the fuel pump. And if you notice, as I zoom in, it's highlighted on the screen for me, anything related to the fuel pump. If I simply click on this, it will then do the entire wire run for me. I can print this article out. In fact, I can even bookmark it and save this for later. So if I'm at lunch or I get another call for a customer, I'm able to call that up real quick with a simple click. Back out of this and I'm back to the main wiring diagrams. The shops that I work with really need access to information. And, and in most cases, it's tied into the safety systems. So if I go back to the main vehicle page, we call out on the main page all the information for the splices, the harnesses, all the connectors and components. And we do this for over 50 manufacturers. In the middle of the screen is all the system and components. Think of this as just breaking out all the major components on the vehicle. So I could click on the heating and cooling to bring up all of the heating and cooling systems. Or maybe I was working on something such as mundane as a water pump. I could simply type that in. Maybe it's tied to the A pillar. All I need to do is type in the search bar and it brings up all the information for me. Not only does it bring up the system and components, any service and repair and any testing inspections that I need to do. So in this case, I need to replace the service and repair information. 
because I clicked on the A pillar and I'll point this out on this Ford Edge, not only do we give you the exact special tools that you need, such as the drill bit and the OEM provides you the adhesive and the seam sealer, that's where we help ensure that you're doing the right repair at the right time. And then we have access to all of the beautiful images that Ford provides. It tells me where to cut, where I need to drill out the welds, where I need to use that hot air gun to loosen the adhesives, and the step-by-step -step procedure. I can also call up any of the safety system, and that's pretty important. That's where our ADAS information, so all the forward collision, right? The automatic emergency braking, reverse automatic braking, all of the lane keep assist and lane departure warnings. All of those details are cataloged for up to the current model years. And as manufacturers release that information, we're updating this for you. Let's take a look at another vehicle. I'm going to change a vehicle to just dive a little deeper into the safety systems a 2020 Camry, the most common vehicle on the market for a sedan. If I dive into their safety information and I bring up something like their forward looking a camera for the, for the automatic cruise control, if I click on the scan tool testing procedures, not only is it going to give me the step-by-step -step procedure, but it's going to give me any hints, any notices, and then the step-by-step, -step, what do I need to do with my scan tool to do this procedure? In fact, it even gives me the active testing. If you can't find something as simple as I've shown you to type it in, we have unlimited library requests. Simply click on library request and it brings up the details for you. The red asterisks are the information that I need to complete. It'll have the vehicle in there, but I simply need to choose the transmission. And that lit up the next button. Whatever information I need, it will then allow me to submit this to all data. And our guarantee to our customers is 30 minutes or less that we'll go out and get this exact OE information, providing the OEM has published that information. We'll then email it or call you with that information. Where we also empower the body shops with information is when you do your pre and post scans. If I need to look up position statements, I can look up all the manufacturers and I'll pick on General Motors, for example, on their pre and post scan requirements. And as we look at it, all GM vehicles must perform a diagnostic trouble code uh, inspection with the scan tool before and after the repair. If I call up any manufacturer, it will give me these details, uh, as well as the use of salvage and recycle parts, what their position is. You don't need to look up any other systems or in uh, uh, any other database. All data houses all the information for you, so you have it in one quick location.